Auto Fanatic here. Going to do a new product demo that I just got. The Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo. Um, if you guys are following my channel, you saw a number of months back, I believe it was October of 17, I did a review on the Adams Car Shampoo. I'll put a screenshot of the video. If you haven't seen it, go over there and, and uh, take a look at it. And I tested that with the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, which is you know my soap of preference and then there was a lot of controversy saying well they're two totally different products uh, the car shampoo is not really an ultra foaming uh, product but at the time this product wasn't available and either they listened and immediately came out with something and now is the time to shoot a retake of that video so we're gonna put this to the test we're gonna test the new Adams ultra foam shampoo against the watermelon scent chemical guys honeydew snow foam well now it's watermelon snow foam and you guys if you go on my channel you saw that I did the gloss works chemical guys gloss works auto wash and I really compare that this is an almost identical product to the Adams car shampoo the blue one that I tested months back but I actually think this is a little bit better uh, this is the chemical guys VO7 good product can't use it in the Sun has its limitations uh, most likely suited for like a basic touchless wash, maintenance wash, or even a rinseless wash formula if you want to mix that up. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a test because they're requiring this to be in a foam cannon with a power washer, not a foam gun. And on the back of this bottle, uh, it's actually saying it's, you know, pH balanced, uh, all this other good stuff, doesn't remove waxes or sealants. It leaves a huge amount of foam, clinging foam with a foam cannon setup. But now according to their instructions, and this is something you guys got to take into consideration is they're telling you to use three to four ounces of foam into the foam cannon okay so that's a little bit more than what some of the other manufacturers recommend between one and two ounces they're trying to double it and you know theoretically you double the product you're probably gonna get a better result so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt I'm gonna measure it exactly as they want and I am going to only use two ounces of the snow foam we're going to do a bucket test. I'm going to see how it foams up in the bucket. And we're going to do an elapsed time and see after 10, 15 minutes, how is the foam sitting in the bucket as is to see if it fizzles out with my water supply. And then we're going to throw this in the foam cannon. We're going to switch between this product and this product, and we're going to do a test. So let's get this uh, demo going for you guys. All right, guys, we're over at the wash buckets. On the left bucket, we have the new Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo. You can see the purple on the bottom of the bucket. I put about three ounces in that bucket. On this bucket to the right, we have the Chemical Guys Watermelon Snow Foam. I put about a little less than three ounces in that bucket. So let's get this started. Okay, so you guys could see, you know, it produces a pretty good foam. Much better than their, uh, you know, regular auto shampoo, the blue stuff that I tried months back. Now, let's see how the watermelon snow foam, this is the first time I actually am trying this out on this product. Okay, if you guys could capture that on camera, they are very, very similar. Uh, this one smells like watermelon, this one smells like grape. Uh, this has a little bit more of larger bubbles, but we'll go check it here. Okay, that's that one. So they're pretty damn close. They're actually really, really close. So I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. I'm going to load up the foam cannon. And we're going to try it out in the foam cannon. I, we already know what the honeydew snow foam stuff does. Uh, stuff is phenomenal. If that's what you're looking for, you want a, a really high suds content uh, auto wash. The reason I like it, depending on certain types of washes, I don't want the soap to come off the car so quickly sometimes when I'm doing, you know, when I want to go back to the buckets and I want to go to the car. I want to have 
not only lubrication in the bucket, but I also want some lubrication on the car. So I don't want to have to keep going back and forth or re-rinsing the car down. So that's why I like a high suds formula that clings to the car and, and has a very long dwell time. And that's why the snow foam to me seems to be, uh, you know, one of my favorite soaps that I've used in a number of years. So we're going to come back and uh, see how that does. And we're going to set up to do the rest of the demo. All right, guys, we got the foam cannon filled up and I'm going to use a two ounce little measuring spoon here. And I'm going to basically put the product with a funnel because I want to keep it consistent with what they want. Okay, there's two ounces. I'm actually going to give it four ounces. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. Okay. So that's four ounces into the MTM professional foam counter. We're going to fire up the power washer now, and uh, we're going to see how this stuff does and how it stacks up against the honeydew snow foam. And if any of you guys watch some of my other soap videos, I am almost 100% positive Chemical Guys is the manufacturer of the Atom stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is just another snow foam product with a different scent, uh, to be honest with you. But we're going to see. We're going to see what it does. We've got the buckets on the other side uh, by the garage. And we're letting that sit for a little bit to see what, uh, what happens over time. So let's get this fired up. Here you got it, folks. We got the MTM foam cannon filled with four ounces of the Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo. So I'm going to fire up the power washer. We're going to just shoot the side of my car down and see what this stuff does. So the foaming is definitely better than the Adams Auto Shampoo. Um, like I said, then it just started thinning out the further I kept spraying the panels. And now it just is pretty much dwelling like a lot of the other stuff on the market, which is not a bad thing, but uh, I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more. It started coming out pretty good, but if you notice, it wasn't just, it, there's just, a little point that it's just not making, you know, and maybe the manufacturer just doesn't want to give them the secret. Who the hell knows? But uh, I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to switch over to the watermelon snow foam. By the time I clean this out, this is going to be all off the car, and we're going to shoot it again, and we're going to do a comparison back to back. And I'm not going to move the camera. You guys can see it straight on for the same view. All right, guys, use the same thing. Here we go. I put, it, I put only two ounces of the watermelon snow foam into the MTM foam cannon. All right. And I'm using lukewarm water with both of these tests. If anybody wants to know, let me just put this back and we're gonna get that fired up. Okay. Give it a good shake. So we're going to get the power washer fired up. We're going to shoot this on my car. We're going to see what it does. I'll show you. So 
So guys, hope the camera could really depict what's going on. Um, it's pretty obvious. The chemical guy's snow foam rocks the house again. And I kind of knew it would. I mean, the Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo, it's a good product, works great, definitely better if you want a little bit more foam, a little bit more working time than their auto shampoo. But I use less product in the same foam cannon with the same power washer, the camera's at the same angle, and you guys, you know, you saw the results here. Uh, so like I said, if you guys want to try out this test, pick up a bottle yourself and, and do it and see how it works out. I mean, this is how it works out in New York with my water supply, my equipment, my hose, my foam cannon, my distance to the work area. And that, that's just what it is. I mean, there's a, a, a number of variables that are going to be involved. But look, I'll move the camera to the floor. I mean, you guys could just see that. I mean, look at how thick that is. That's ridiculous. So... The Adam stuff started working really well, and then it just, you know, the more it got onto the car, the more it just started watering itself down, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's a little quick demo for you guys. And we're going to walk over to the buckets now. We're going to see how those are doing. All right, guys, we've been about 25 minutes since we uh, put these in the buckets. So the Adams ultra shampoo it's got some foam if you guys could see I'm gonna to try to get the camera closer try to zoom in here you guys are gonna see it kinda of settled to the top and you know there's fresh water but there's fresh water below okay let's go to the chemical guys watermelon snow foam you know we got some nice thick foam up top and uh, yeah you can see the water a little bit too this seems to have a little bit more but they're pretty close I'd say it's between a 9 and a 10 as far as if you want to scale that so okay so with a little agitation okay we get that back let's do this one here So I'm just taking off the top layer of foam. Now I'm agitating this. And we're getting the foam back, but it's much thinner. Much thinner than the uh, chemical guys. Yeah, see that? Big difference right now. Okay. So... All right, folks, hope you guys really enjoyed the, uh, the foam soap demo that I did for you guys. I'm not trying to start any flame wars in the comments or anything, uh, but I just thought it was a fair test this time around when a lot of people told me that the last time I did the soap test with the Adams Auto Shampoo it wasn't really a fair test. So, you know, now they have a product that is trying to compete with these two products here. And uh, I'll be honest with you, like I said, it's close. It's really close, but it's not the same, okay? I still think the Chemical Guys products are cheaper. Uh, you just get more for your money. You use less product. It just seems to be a better value. I don't really like the scent of this stuff. I, that's just my personal preference. I love the scent of this stuff. Um, you know, the watermelon, that's why I bought it. I mean, it's the same product than the Honeydew. I'm just not a fan of the Honeydew scent, so I just bought this just for a personal preference. But, you know, like I said, if you guys uh, you know, are curious or you have this and you love it and you've tried these other two and you think it's better, you know, post, it in the feed, post some feedback below. Um, let me know if you're using the same foam cannon, uh, what type of power washer, whether it's gas, electric, how many gallons per minute, uh, and a little bit about your water supply, because that's going to really affect a lot of things here. Um, and like I said, I've tested all this stuff for years, and that's why I settled on the snow foam products by Chemical Guys. And I am not a dealer, wholesale, or distributor for any of this stuff. And uh, this is just my personal preference, and I enjoy doing this stuff uh, to share with the world. So any questions, comments, post them below, autofanatic at yahoo.com. Got a lot more product reviews coming. Stay tuned.